Hey guys, what is going on? So I just wanted to give some updates on Turkesterone, the Nerinogen, uh, my diet and training because a lot has changed recently and you know, I just kind of have to tell you how the experiments might be affected by it just because these are kind of things that I don't have a bunch of control over. So um, one thing about the Nerinogen, um, I mentioned this in my last video, I got it the day after I made the video. So I've been taking it ever since. I've been taking two servings of uh, Gorilla Mind, the uh, the PM1. I've been taking that with my Turkestrone. It's only been a few days, so I can't really tell, you know, what's going on or what isn't. Um, but I have been doing that. And I've also been kind of strategically trying to use it as a fat burner, potentially, um, because I have been putting on a little bit more fat recently. And that kind of segues into me going back to work. So um, one reason I wanted to get on Turkestrone and I was only planning to do it for, I think, six weeks was because um, I work in a restaurant and restaurants were closing down and they have been closed the entire time I've been on Turkestrone up until, um, you know, my first day that I was supposed to be back was Friday. So, um, you know, I, now I work three days a week, I'm scheduled three days a week and that changes things pretty significantly because, uh, as opposed to being home all day, being able to take six Turkestrone capsules, um, and being able to eat every two to three hours, which is kind of what I was doing before, all of a sudden things change and I work in a restaurant. So it's one of those things where you can't really just like, we don't get like lunch breaks or anything like that. And it's busy when we're there and I work at night and it's just, it's something where it's hard to structure a diet around because you can't eat on the job. And we actually used to have meals at work where you could come in early to work, you would get a meal. And I used to eat those every day. And now that the pandemic is no longer allowing that because we're trying to cut costs, uh, that is no longer a thing. So I pretty much have to like plan well in advance and I can't eat at work. And any food that would be there is like stuff like French fries or cheesecake or something like just stuff that you would not consider part of a healthy diet. So um, I actually used to, when I was bulking, my strategy was I would wake up in the morning, stuff my face, wait an hour or two, and then I would go to Burger King, get the most calorically dense meal I could get. And then shortly thereafter, I would go to work and I would eat the meal at work. And then I have a really long shift and then I get home and then I would eat as much as I possibly could. That is how I got to 240 in the past. And while it's not that extreme anymore, my hours aren't as long as well as um, I don't work seven days a week anymore. But that's what I used to have to do to be able to bulk. So uh, it kind of just changes things, especially now that I don't have that meal that I can get. Um, and just my ability to eat consistently, especially like when am I supposed to eat dinner? I don't really know. Am I supposed to eat it like after midnight or am I supposed to eat it at like 3 p.m. or something? Like there's not really a good time to eat dinner anymore. So like my entire diet is kind of changing. And thus I've tr kind of transitioned into eating more calorically dense foods and just trying to get calories in, get my macros in more so like a, if it fits your macros type of thing, which is not something that I ever really did. Um, but I don't want to be like losing weight while trying to gain muscle on Turkesterone. So I'm gonna have to change some things up. Um, another thing is like with my training, my back situation. Um, I don't know if I'm really comfortable doing like heavy squats or even like doing, uh, legs or back and stuff like that. So I've been doing more so like shoulders, chest, arms, stuff like that. And I feel like I'm kind of going a little too hard on those. And I, I feel like legitimately sore, um, because I'm doing a lot more volume than I would have before on those muscles, because I'm alternating between those two, as opposed to implementing all these other muscles that were connected to my back. So I've had, my back is not fully healed. It's felt really good the past couple of days, but just the moral of all of this is that there's a lot of moving parts going on here. So, um, I think I did a pretty good job of being as consistent as I could. I'm not really a consistent person. I usually can't stick to a diet. The first, whatever, four bottles of Turkesterone, I felt like while I did have some variables for the most part, um, I had pretty much the same food every single day. And, uh, I think it showed pretty good results and I think it's pretty consistent with what other people have been showing with their results. So I think if you were to go off that Turkesterone works and it worked for me and it worked in a four week span or whatever it was. And I think that's pretty consistent. So if you're looking for, Hey, does this work for advanced lifters? I think it does. I think it works for everybody. Now are the results outstanding? I don't know what I'm going to do from here on out is do whatever I can to gain additional muscle 
while still <laughs> dealing with this kind of crazy change that I'm going to be adjusting to over the next couple months because I still have a couple months left of testosterone and guys if I get additional lean body mass gains regardless of what my diet is or my training I think that is indicative that you know going on testosterone for three months could be beneficial now if i plateau if i don't see any gains that doesn't necessarily mean that testosterone can't work because i'm kind of changing things up but if i am able to get my lean body mass to 195 197 something like that i think it really is going to show that it's beneficial to take testosterone for a longer period of time potentially but we'll have to wait and see um, basically what I've concluded thus far though is that a four to six week period of testosterone seems to be a good period to get growth. That's plenty. That worked for me. I've kind of plateaued a little bit since then. We'll see if I can kind of get back on track. Obviously I've had some variables over the past couple weeks. We'll see if I can gain more muscle. Um, but so far I think the Turk works. It's just, uh, is it, is it going to be worth it to do like three months worth as opposed to like one month? That's the question I'm trying to figure out and I'm going to do what I can to gain muscle. Um, things are going to be changing and I don't have a ton of control over that. Obviously I need to make money to be able to buy groceries and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, um, just dealing with the hands that I have and I feel like I've been more consistent than I've ever been in the first month of doing this or 40 days or however long it's been. Um, so, you know, I'm sorry that I can't have the most consistent experimental thing ever, but at the end of the day, um, the three month period of testosterone, I think is what we're really going to be testing here now. And I think it's really going to show what can be achieved with a longer cycle of around three months. And, you know, that's my goal from this point on is to just put on as much muscle as possible. If that includes fat, that's okay. If I have periods where I'm fasting or doing fat burning stuff or whatever, um, you know, th those are going to be variables, but at the end of the day, I think if testosterone can't work in that environment, it might, you know, might not be for you, um, especially when we've shown that a four to six week period seems to be plenty to put on a decent amount of mass. So um, we'll see where it goes. I'm probably going to be updating less because variables are going to be changing, but um, I will, I will update as, as I see fit. So anyway, that's all I got to say about that. I'll keep you updated and I'll talk to you soon.